Hello and a very warm welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about breast shields and specifically breast shield sizes for your Medela pump. So stay tuned for everything that you didn't know about breast shield sizes. Hello, my name is Maria, and for those of you who we haven't met yet, I'm excited that you're here. I have been in this industry, mom and baby industry, for 20 years. So I have a lot of knowledge and expertise that I'm just dying to share with you. So stick with us for today, and we're going to be talking about these guys. These are breast shields, breast flanges. They can have a lot of different names, but really what I want to tell you about today is that they come in different sizes. Now, some people look at me as if I've got three heads when we talk about the fact that these come in different sizes because they genuinely had no idea. So, okay, Maria, why is it important? Well, it's really important that you have the correct size for your body. We all come in different shapes and sizes. We all have different size boobs. So what's really important is to understand that nipple sizes, just like boob sizes, are a different size too. And the reason that this is important is because the reason you're pumping is to be able to take your milk, to build your supply, to feed your baby, to give it to your baby in NICU, to allow yourself to have a break so that da dad can bond or granny can bond, your partner can bond. There's tons of reasons as to why you might need to pump. But if you're not using the right size, you're not gonna have such an effective journey. So what I'm gonna tell you is that this is a breast shield, and more recently, Medela came out with what they call the Flex Shield. So the reason I'm talking about Medela today is because when we do another video, which was gonna be on the Amida pumps and the Amida breast shields, they are an entirely different range. They do not interchange with the Medela ones, so we're gonna do a separate video on those. So if you are looking for information on an Amida pump with Amida breast shields, come back to another video. This is all about the Medela ones. So luckily on the packages, they will tell you which size they are, and that helps you to understand which size do I need. So you're thinking to yourself, what's the starting point of understanding how do I know what size I am? So there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. The typical, not that there is a typical standard regular size, but the size that will come with your pump is a 24 millimeter. That is considered the most average size. There are a couple of sizes that they come in. So they go down to a 21 millimeter and then they go up in a breast shield, flex shield size to a 30, but they still have the old original breast shield in a size 36, which is quite large and is necessary for some people. So how do you, how do you make the decision on what you need? First of all, you're going to put the breast pump on, you're going to turn it on, and you're going to attempt to use it as you would plan to, and we've covered it in another video how to actually use the pump. What you're looking for is a correct fit within this area here. So as you can see my finger coming through here, this is where your areola and your nipple are going to be. So as you can see here, my finger is actually a pretty good fit in here. It's not rubbing, it's not chafing. So imagine that could be your nipple rubbing and chafing. That's not what you want. You want your finger to have a good fit for your nipple, obviously. But if you're in a store, um, you're maybe not going to want to to do that. So here we have a 21 with your finger inside. So I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, but obviously at home, when your pump comes with the size that it comes with, test it out and see. You want them to see if you're comfortable. So some of the red flags that you're going to look for, it being uncomfortable, first and foremost, then you know. But again, that could be due to turning the suction up too high too quickly. So just make sure that it is not a suction issue. If you are rubbing, if you are chafing off the side of the breast shield, it is too small for you. Equally, if your nipple is floating in a lot of thin air, so if I use my little finger, you can see that this, if this was a nipple, would be too big and I would need to go down a size. So you want to make sure that it is a good fit for you. And so you can try it by putting it on and turning it on and seeing how it works. Some of the ways that you're going to know, apart from the comfort factor, is redness, whiteness, or discomfort 
after pumping or equally knowing that even though you've pumped and you have taken some milk off that you still feel like there's quite a bit of milk left in your breast. Those would be the typical types of things that you would be looking for to understand whether they fit you or not. Now Medela does have, um, this is their older uh, fitting guide and as you can see here we have 21, 24, 27, 30 and 36. Now one thing to note is that your left breast and your right breast can have a different size nipple. So just because your right is 30 it doesn't mean that your left won't be 27 or vice versa. So just make sure that you're aware that either side can be bigger or smaller than the other, just like your cup size can also be different. So this is the older one, and it is just as you would do, you place it and then you fit yourself. When they brought out the flex shields, they also brought out a slightly snazzier new sizing guide. And here you can see what is 21, 24, 27, and 30. So again, the um, flex shield with the softer silicone edge only goes up to a size 30 millimeter. And that is because they maintain that because of the oval shape versus the circular shape on the older style, that you can accommodate the varying sizes of nipples in a smaller product range. So some people will have to go through using the various sizes until they find the perfect fit for them. Unfortunately, once you purchase and open and use any of these breast shields, they cannot be returned, obviously for hygiene reasons. And it's also worth noting that if you are pumping and pumping a little bit more on the longer term, that your nipples can change in size and that they can grow in size. So it is not unusual for your nipples to get a little bit larger. So you might be just fine with the 24 that came in your package and as you go through your process of pumping and your pumping journey and as your baby's demands increase, your pump, um, your milk supply increases, you may find that your nipples also grow and so you may need to up increase your size as at a later stage. So that's the basics of taking you through how you would understand the different sizes. This is what the boxes now look like. As I mentioned, Medela has brought out the Flex Shield. So you're going to find it less and less likely that you come across the original uh, breast shields on the market. They have discontinued those apart from the 36 millimeter. But that is quite an unusual size and sometimes it's actually a special order at the 36. Here we have the uh, 30 millimeter and the 27 millimeter, pretty much the same size box. And then this is the 21 millimeter. Most stores are not going to sell a tremendous amount of size 24s because they come within your uh, pump, but they can be bought if you want to have more of those kits. But we would typically recommend just having two pumping kits. So for instance, if you are renting the Symphony, you can just buy two um, of the pumping kits and then you have two of everything so that it means you're not having to wash every time you use, having to get it all prepared for the next time. So it's just a little bit of a time saving and energy saving tip for you there. So that is, in a nutshell, how you choose the different sizes for you. It's a very personal journey. Uh, we can obviously help you with that, with additional information. Uh, we would love to know your comments, and uh, if you have any questions, please drop them down below. And if you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you're finding the videos overall, that they're useful and helpful for you, then please do hit that subscribe button. It would mean everything to us to have you along on this journey with us. And we will be back again next Thursday with another video. And next Thursday, we're gonna be going through all of the accessories for your pumps. So things like your milk storage bags, breast shields, breast pads, all of those kind of things. Understanding what they're used for, why you need them, and all of that. So stay tuned for that next Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern. And in the meantime, let us know what you think and we will do our best to provide you with the very best content on all of your parenting journey. So stay tuned and I hope you have a wonderful day.